Hello everyone, in this video, we will know how to evaluate the expressions using any of the instruction format which we have uh, learned in uh, last video. So, uh, in this video, basically, first I will let you know how the expression will be evaluated using three address instruction format, then using two, uh, two address instruction format, then one address, then zero address instruction format. Okay? So, consider this example. This was in our previous slide also. In this, we have to evaluate the expression a plus b into c plus t. So, if uh, we are using three address instruction format, so what we have to do, we have to store three addresses for every instruction. So, in that case, uh, first we have to, if uh, we have to perform some uh, operation like addition. So we will write the name of operation that is uh, addition here. Then in second column we will write the addresses we have stored. Those are uh, address of a temporary register R1 where we are storing the temporary value this time. And then uh, A and B means uh, the address of these two operands. And uh, formally we will write the instruction as uh, R1 will store operand A plus operand B. We will go to the memory location where A is stored and uh, we will add the operand from uh, getting from there and uh, same we will do uh, for B also and uh, so as of now with first instruction we have done till this. Now we have this value as R1 ok. Now we have c plus d ok so for c plus d we will uh, do the same like we have done in previous one we will add them and uh, store at r2 register ok why because we have to use three addresses now we have <laughs> at last multiplication sign over there so for that we will use multiplication operation means in instruction we will use opcode of multiplication and we will store all the three operands sorry addresses uh, means uh, where we have to store the value of r1 multiplied by r2 then r1 then r2 so we can write it like that so uh, we will go to the location where we have to store x and where uh, there we will store r1 and r2 okay so in this way we will evaluate expression using three address instruction format. Now we will uh, see how to evaluate the uh, same expression using two address instruction format. This is the example basically given in uh, Morris Fano book. This is same expression here. So in case of three address instruction we had uh, three address fields in earlier case. But here we have only two address fields. So what we will do if we have to perform any operation, first we will move one of the operand to a register and uh, then we will operate the another operand with the, the register where we have stored the first operand. We have moved the first operand and store the result within the same register. Okay. Why we are using register? Because uh, if we are using processor registers, uh, the speed is uh, much better than uh, if we are using uh, the memory locations for the same. Now, uh, first what we will do, we will take any operand, uh, any of the two operands. So, we have taken A, we move the value of A to R1. Now, value is in R1, we have to perform addition with B. So, what we will do, we will write the operation and uh, write the next operand with the storage location and the storage location is same as uh, previous uh, stored value location ok. So if I am writing add r1 comma b means we will add r1 with value of b operand b and we will store the result within r1 ok. So hence we have, will get uh, r1 here. Now for c plus d first we will move c in another register and uh, we will do the same what we have done earlier in case of a plus b we will add this and uh, store the value at r2 
now at last we have to perform it uh, perform a multiplication we have a plus b in r1 and uh, c plus d in r2 now we will multiply and uh, store that in any of the register we can write it r2 comma r1 then in that case we can uh, multiply it uh, r2 is equal to r2 into r1 but uh, conventionally uh, we should go in a sequential way we have r1 first then r2 so we will perform multiplication in that way and at last we will move the same into a memory location where uh, the result should be stored okay so in this way at last we have stored the value of register to memory location in this way we perform the uh, expression evaluation using uh, two address instruction format now we will go to next one that is one address instruction format here uh, we implicitly know that uh, there is accumulator which has one of the operand okay so what we have to do we have to store any uh, of the operand to accumulator and to perform all the operations with that accumulator only so for uh, moving we have load instruction for storing we have store instruction and uh, for any operation we have different instructions like addition multiplication subtraction now we have a plus b first what we will do we will uh, take any of the operand and we will uh, move it to accumulator now it is moved means we have loaded it to accumulator we have stored only one address that is a now we have to perform a plus b so what we will do we will add the value stored in accumulator with b and stored at accumulator okay so you can clearly see any of the operation which we were performing in case of uh, last one that is uh, two address instruction we are performing it uh, with the help of accumulator rather than register now our accumulator cannot be uh, two in numbers we have only one accumulator so we will store that value to any temporary location uh, in memory okay so we have stored it that's why uh, uh, only that is the reason we are using memory otherwise we should use register uh, in each of the case due to a speed constraint but uh, we have only accumulator and memory here so we are using memory here now we will do the same for c and d and uh, we have uh, this value at memory location t and now we have this value at accumulator okay so what we have to do we have to multiply t with ac and uh, store the value into uh, any location uh, first uh, we will store it into accumulator and then the value of accumulator will be moved to x okay so we have multiplied it and stored the value of accumulator to x hence this is performed okay now coming to the next uh, one that is zero address instruction format so in this format we have uh, we don't have any address field we basically uh, write here operands only okay and we use uh, stack and for using stack we should use reverse police notation that is postfix so we have to calculate its postfix we will get a b plus c d plus and then multiplication sign okay so uh, we have to push each of the operand in our stack and uh, when we get any of the operation symbol we have to perform operation and uh, put it uh, on the top of the stack okay so at first we have uh, a so we have pushed it then b we have pushed it then we got addition this addition so we have uh, first operated and then stored the value to top of stack now top of stack there is a plus b then we uh, we have c then we have d we are here then we got plus and uh, uh, after watching plus we will uh, just take last two op operands and uh, perform addition so we have taken c and d from stack and uh, performed plus and uh, push it onto top of stack okay 
now we have c plus d in top of stack and after that a plus b so we have to perform multiplication on that we have uh, multiply sign so we will uh, write here mul for multiplication it will multiply c plus d into a plus b first operand into second operand and uh, it is on the top of stack and at last we will pop out at the location where we were pointing it out and uh, top of stack will be popped to that location so in this way we perform expression evaluation using zero address instruction or stack based instruction format okay so in this video uh, we first went through we had uh, an expression a plus b into c plus d first we have uh, evaluated it using three address instruction where we had three address and uh, the opcode then we had two address instruction where we have two addresses to store and uh, the opcode opcode means operation we are writing uh, in instruction it will be set of 0 and 1 that will tell what operation we have to perform then we had uh, uh, one address instruction format where we had accumulator instead of register and memory locations and uh, one thing we should know that uh, there should be only one accumulator we should consider only one accumulator there are no two accumulators that's why we are using memory locations here for storing purpose and next uh, we have zero address instructions where we are using a stack okay so in this way uh, we can perform any of the expression evaluation using any of the instruction format thank you